Google just released a new tool, which in my opinion seems to have gone under the radar. But if you subscribe to this channel, you're not going to miss all these advances happening in the space of AI, Gen AI, LLMs. So what is this tool we're talking about? Let's learn about it. This tool is Google Learn About. It's a new AI interface as part of the Google ecosystem. Now you might be saying, but Fru, how is this different than all the other things that Google has from an AI perspective? We're going to unpack that and I'll go through a demo here to see. It's fascinating. The way you're going to access this is learning.google.com. It's an experimental tool. I honestly did not see a lot of fanfare about this compared to some of the things that Google has done with um, Notebook LM, which we've done some good demos on. If you haven't checked those out, check them out on the channel. You can also see Illuminate, which is part of uh, the Google's uh, family. We have done some demos too as well. This is for generating audio. Obviously, there is Google Search with intelligent summarization. You have uh, Google Labs that has uh, quite a bit of products in there from AI overviews to uh, some of the emerging uh, uh, AI products. And not to talk about uh, Gemini, which is I think most people will be familiar with, which is a chat interface. Once you come in to learn about, it's an interface to help you learn about concepts from an exploratory way. So I see it more as a tool for brainstorming and, and dialing in on concepts you might not be familiar with or don't even know the questions to ask in a chat interface. And so once you come in here and learn about very simple interface in Google's fashion, there are some topics you can select, as you can see to the right here are the settings. Uh, not a lot to go by. Let's take a topic we want to learn about, let's say LLMs. As you can imagine, uh, most folks might want to learn about LLMs. Uh, take the terms, agree on that. The same chat interface that most people are familiar with, you get it, the, the same experience here. So it tells us uh, LLMs, large language models. It gives us some interactive uh, lists to learn from. What's interesting at the end is asking, do you want to simplify the topic, go deeper, get images? You're getting that harmony or that uh, blend of what you would get from a Google search in addition to what you would get from like a notebook LLM. So let's go deeper on LLMs. Here are some suggested topics on this concept. As you can imagine, somebody coming to LLMs. One of the challenges I've seen with chat interface is you don't always know the questions you're going to ask, right? It, it could be very challenging when you have a blank input screen and you don't know the questions to ask because you don't know the topic that well. So having these suggested topics based on the question or what you want to learn about, I think becomes really interesting. Here, it does tell us the LLM capabilities. You can see what is in the picture. Those are things that are common in uh, Google. Now, what you can do too is, let's say I want to switch between talking about LLMs and I want to talk about maybe Gen AI as an example. Now, this opens up almost like a new chat interface. It should add a new card suggestion here, and then you can go back and forth between that. So now we have this new card. I can go back and chat with LLMs if I wanted to learn about that, or I could chat with the generative AI if that is what I need to learn about. So that's really to learning about this. I see it more as a means to explore or to brainstorm, especially on concepts you're not aware of. And you're using the power of Google search behind to surface these links, which you can then click and explore and watch the YouTube video or go to the blog post. Very similar to how you would interact with the regular or the classic Google search engine because it's been around for so long anyways. So, and you can like this, obviously I'd say this is correct as an example. I think feedbacks to the searches or the results turn to help and it says, why does it matter? Now, one question you might be asking is how does this differ from Notebook LM, right? I think one of the big difference with Notebook LM, if you've worked with it, you can see I'm working on a notebook here, is the fact that you have to add your sources. Notebook LM works well when you bring in high quality sources and then generate your audio summaries, which is a big uh, piece of Notebook LM. So you got to bring in the sources and it's not a trivial exercise to bring in the sources. And that is very different from the learn about, which is 
you're using the built-in sources. So this is the brains of Google is searching the entire Google catalog. I could see where folks could use this to explore a topic, grab the links for this, and then bring that to Notebook LM to generate the audio. So that could be one way that this uh, gets adopted. Uh, and if I was a student or a researcher or just anybody like me curious about what's happening in the zeitgeist, I, I think that this definitely has a space. One caveat I will call out as we go through this is you can see as we started calling out all the different Google products, it's a lot, right? Google Search, Google Illuminate, Google Labs. We're going to go through and demo all of these tools because they are fascinating. And the Notebook LA and Gemini, before Gemini, you had the BART, which was the precursor to Gemini. So there is a lot. And I wouldn't be surprised if at some point we see a consolidation. And I think Google tends to do this a lot. Right? They put a lot of products out in the wild. They let the survivor of the fittest, if you can say, and then they start canning some of these projects and bringing them into more mature projects that work. I hope Len is not one of those, right? If you've been around enough from Google Wave, um, there is a whole grave site for Google products. I hope this is not one of them because it's still an experimenter. But I, it's, an, it's an interesting, interesting concept. Now, one thing I couldn't get a good handle on is you can delete your activities. Obviously, you want to read the privacy notice. The question I'm hoping to get the answer on is what model is powering this? My uh, suspicion is that this is powered by the Gemini model, right? I think Google probably has Gemini and now they are infusing Gemini in all of these products and different interfaces. So that would be my suspicion, but I think the documentation might say otherwise. I'll leave it in the comment section below if I find something different. And then is your chat retained? If I leave and come back, is this chat retained? The unfortunate answer to that is no. If I refresh this page and come back, essentially you're starting from scratch. So the chat we had before is all gone. This is truly an experimental product. I wouldn't uh, rely too much on this if you want long-term persistence of your chat. The last thing before we drop off on this is if you search and let's say we do Gen AI here, Google has the search interface. It links to Wikipedia. It links to a lot of things. It gives you the uh, AI overviews, but guess what you also get? You get the sponsored ads, right? And that's how Google, <laughs> Google makes pay the bills. And the question therefore is if you come into learn about and you still get those links, the way you get at some point, are we going to be seeing ads in here and how does that play in terms of monetization? And I think this is really a big question across the board with all of these AI services, with Gemini and, and Notebook LM and Illuminate, right? How is this all going to be monetized? I think that's something to pay attention to, depending on the audience for this, right? If this is meant for brainstorming for students to learn or for academics, I don't know if Google is going to be infusing a lot of ads into this as compared to if this is meant for your general audience to be like the next level of search. So instead of searching, People are now going to be learning about topics. If that's the goal, then I'm sure the, the considerations for monetization might be a little bit different. Hopefully this demo gives you some idea. If you haven't checked it out, as always, uh, links in the description below. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe here on Demo Hub. We uh, dive into new emerging technologies and AI. We unpack those, we showcase demos, and hopefully you get value out of it. This has been Furo with Demo Hub. I'll see you in the next demo.